It was an absolute rout right from the tip-off here Wednesday night at the BMO Harris Bradley Center as the Marquette Golden Eagles downed the visiting Grambling State Tigers by a score of 95 to 49. Juwan Johnson led all scorers with 20 points, while four Golden Eagles would finish in double figures. It's just not a matter of who you're playing. It's your play, and you need to live up to a high standard of play. And you don't, you don't regulate how much you need to give based on who you're playing. Jumping out to a quick 33-6 lead by the seven-minute mark, the Golden Eagles certainly lived up to a high standard of play on both sides of the ball. Aided by some terrific team defense, Marquette was able to get out in transition and knock down some easy looks. Um, it is kind of hard, especially when, like, when you go up 30, 35 points. Like, you want to stay like, aggressive on defense and offense. You know, sometimes you get worried about just offense. You're going to get your, num your numbers up. But coach can do a good job of just keep talking to us like, in time out, tell us to be aggressive, like getting mad at us and all this. So he make it easy on us. Despite some woeful shooting performances at the beginning of the season, the Golden Eagles were able to find the magic touch on Wednesday night. Wojo's squad shot 58% from the field and an astronomical 61% from behind the arc. Jawan Johnson led the way for Marquette with four triples, while Dwayne Wilson chipped in three of his own in the victory. We're certainly a better shooting team than we showed prior to the last few games. So, But a lot of it is how we're playing. And, we're getting really high quality shots and that's I think a, a reason we're shooting a better percentage. Marquette will try and make it five straight victories as they play host to the main Black Bears this Saturday at 1.30. Reporting from the BMO Harris Bradley Center, I'm Matt Unger, MUTV Sports.